and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and we have pretty much, lo I've, you know, looted a lot of the enemies in the area. Nothing too great to steal outright without having to use, like, the super steal skill, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, I think only Silvando leveled, so just for those of you keeping tabs on my leveling scheme here, not much to keep track of as I did not do much. And to keep that in mind, pe for a lot of people, we're doing things out of, you know, storyline order here. Um, because there's a chance, an opportunity even, for us to get a lot of free shit, and I'll be the first to tell you, I like free stuff. Especially, especially free stuff that's relevant. If that makes any sense. So, we have made it to Puerto Valor. Um, but before we do anything here in Puerto Velo, we actually need to go back to Gond uh, Gondolia here. And it's to get access to a side quest. I don't believe it's available earlier, just in case somebody asks me, why am I going back now? I don't believe it's available earlier. You have to have the whole incident with Jasper go down, and then you actually have to get to Puerto Valor to get access to it. I could be wrong. Um, Dragon Quest XI games are very, very tricky and advanced in a way. In, in, in a way. Um, and so, yeah. What we need to do is go bridge too short. We also get another thing that we get access to, so I figure kill two birds with one stone. That we did not have access to before. Let me see what I mean in a moment here. So this quest here, it's Akia again. We deliver Takin's letter. Alright, so this time it goes to a, a gentleman in Puerto Velor named Valentino. Alright, and where reward is a coveted mini medal. So again, one of the reasons you don't want to turn this quest down is if you're one of those completionists trying to get all the mini medals, you need to do this big time. Also, it's I believe this house. Yeah, we didn't have access to Doge Rondo's Rotondo's house, so we get access to it now, which gives us a blue eye, and I believe there's one other either item or money. There's the Doge. Yeah, 300 bucks. Are you sure there's nothing else here? There isn't. Uh, books, are there books? No. There are books, but not the books that we can read. The books that, that our hero can read are very specific. Okay, so now that we've done that... And again, that's like I said, the reason, even if you could go to... Um, even if you could go sooner to pick up that side quest, it's a nice little reminder to do that and go see the doge's, you know, estate. Or his home and raid it with all of its goodies. That's how, just how I am. And before we get too far here, let's take a look at our map. We've got two quest givers, it looks like. A couple of locked doors. And the, the city is kind of divided into two sides here. You'll see in a moment as we head into the town proper. Uh, okay. Doo doo doo, nice. And then, let's go, now there's like the regular town and then there's part of the town and then there's the rich people part of the town. Um, and there's goodies to find if you're willing to snoop around. Nice. And there's no reason to deal with the mansions at this exact moment, just as a heads up. So, obviously, I'm not going to. Okay. What's this? Grab, grab, grab. And we get a silk blossom. And that's really it 
at the moment for the rich area. And now we need to head over yonder. And the thing is, is that you'll notice there's a lot of shops along the area here. If you look at our map, there's actually two inns. We're going to have to utilize both of those inns in just a moment. Well, not utilize. We don't need to utilize this inn unless, you know, you don't need to, really. Inns are overrated when you can just warp to a campsite. Unless you can't get to a campsite and then use the inn. Inns should be a last resort is what I'm saying. <laughs> As we get some Wayfarer clothes, let's see what else we can find here. Now, um, we can take a look at, like, the armaments here. Uh, Eagle Dagger is going to be an upgrade for um, Eric, but I would wait till we can make it. And now we're getting into the edge of boomerangs, where the boomerangs are going to start being a little interesting. Um, but there's definitely some nice weapons starting to rise up. Uh, to our making themselves available to our characters, um, as well as armor, to to a degree as well. Again, no reason to outright buy anything, because we either got to rework it to make it a decent upgrade, and for the price, it's almost worth it to just hold tight for the time being. Another Tetsu Smith book. Tetsu the Smith book. Then we get a finescence, which is nice. Not necessarily an easy item to find. And then we'll head downstairs again, and then out the door. Yeah, the item, the weapon shop here and whatnot has some pretty decent stuff. It's really up to you whether or not you want to utilize, so to speak, utilize it or not. Um, and since, like I said, we're doing really good with our with our physical characters, fun forge stuff. I'm I'm okay. Any case situation, I really need to be heading home and getting back to her. If I don't get her what she wants, she'll run out. I'm sorry. Let's see. She's easy to work with. Anyway, I thought I'd bring her here and get away from it all for a bit. And now she's saying she won't go home unless I get her a piece of floral coral. You can't buy this stuff in shops. You have to fight a coral s coral losses to get it. I know the intention is bears, and I really would like to try to make her happy, but fighting monsters as well is not my cup of tea. You, on the other hand, yep, yeah, so. And then we get a whip making book. Okay, I don't think we have one, even though I've fought in some coral dudes. Which means you have to get this quest first. And then you gotta fight him. So that's that's a thing. So yeah. Loot, loot. Um so yeah, that's that's a thing. If we really want that side quest, we gotta grind for it, which I'll be willing to do. And we get a mini maid. Not just that mini metal. There's actually another mini metal, and it's rather it's probably the easiest mini metal to overlook and or miss. And I hope we have enough money to do it. I think we do. Uh, I'm always very uh, skeptical when the time comes that I haven't really been checking my funds. Nice. We need to head downstairs. And it's the end. Stay overnight. 
because I always forget if you have to pay for this or not. Alright. And we get a mini medal. <laughs> Again, it's one of those mini medals that you can easily miss just because you don't stay at this particular inn. It's a little annoying. Alright, so we've done that. Now there's no more mini medals in this specific area, so we should talk to this lady. Hello, Sherry, and welcome to the Miniature Metal Exchange, an officially licensed organ of the Academy de Notre Maître de Medallier. Ah, but what is this? You do not have an album of medallions? Well, we should fix that. This is churning between French and German. Oh my god. Okay, so anyway, for each medal we get, we get a stamp. So we can talk to her about that. We've got 14 stamps. Quite nice. And we get rewards for every about every five. And we get the shield bearer. And then that'll be nice. And then it will be a while before we get the next one. So we get the Hermes hat. It looks like we need five or six. The six, yeah. And we get a rune staff. Ooh. Oops, I don't want to talk to my party. Okay. So we get the Hermes hat. Which could go really to anybody, but it does give them agility of 12, which is quite nice. Um, as you can see, it's really on par with the fur hat hood. So who would benefit from it the most would probably be the hero, but not by much. So we'll go with a character that's slow or that needs the headpiece defense and the speed. Um, 92 to 61 versus this, but this will break the, the outfit. So we'll give it to, uh, God, against my better judgment. Oh, we have this too. Um, and we're going to be breaking up some costumes here. Let's do the Hermes hat here. And where is she? The cat hat's going to be swapped out for the coral hairpin. The coral hairpin is just so much better. Um, and it raises magical might, which is important. Um, as much as I don't really like having her with the Hermes hat to be fair, it's like, what else do you give her? That's not a fur hood. And even then, it's like not that, but that much better. But she needs the, um, she needs the, you know, the, the speed and the defense. Because she's been out of defense for a while. There's another little quest we can start. No, 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 without proper pepper, the flavor's all wrong, and it's as simple as that. Ah, uh, lo siento, signore. I am sorry, I should not get so angry in the kitchen, but the fact is, my speciality dish, my specialty dish, Requires a picture of proper pepper, and I do not have any. Useless bastard. Useless! Useless! Um, you see, I always import my pepper from Gondolia, but recently they have a the fridge. And the pirates have been attacking, and so we get some info here. It's a relatively, uh, rough fight. It can be done. So we get these two quests that require us to fight dudes. Okay. That is a thing. We'll, we'll, we'll look into doing that. If possible soon. Because I like knocking quests out early, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. That we don't have to watch me waste away while we do it. Okay, let's go to the beach really quick, because there's really only two items of interest on the beach. The Maiden's Fivel. Okay, so I, I thought he gave a quest. I guess not yet. Pretty sure he does later, though. Alright. And then if we head all the way along the beach... Oh, the kid. Kill ya! Crimson Coral. And because we've stolen some from the big coral dudes, we're in good position. Now, from here... Because it'll just make it easier for me to make sure, work our way back to the town center. There's still some more um, goodies we can find. This lone barrel here. 
gives us some glass some glass shard. And then I believe there's something in the church over here. Well, you know, let's check over here first. I believe, yep. Yeah. And we get some a panacea. What's in here? Oh, ooh, a red eye. I gotta say no to that. Door. Make sure none of the edges there. Let me see. I believe there's a chest somewhere near here. I believe up saw. Yes. And we get a th seed of therapy therapeutics. Probably saying that wrong every time. Therapeutics. I'm gonna just say what I think it is, though. I think it is therapeutics. And I believe the last big item in town is in here that we can get right now. There's a handful of items we can't get right now, um, just because of the layout of the city and you know everything in it. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, again, let's look at some equipment here. Gold rosary. You notice strong medicines are now replacing the weaker ones, which means we should probably start dumping those out of the our inventory, out of the character inventories, because they're not going to get used in the sense that you would think. They're going to get used as like free healing, not free healing, but they're going to get used as healing for, um, like, when I don't want to burn MP for various reasons, usually reasons being of uh, leveling or preparing for a boss fight, um, but yeah, we, we don't need those in the, par in the party anymore, and really, uh, we're carrying a lot of stuff on us that should really be, are not consumables. I think we're good there. savando has got a bunch of medical herbs. So I'll sort through this later. I'm not going to waste your guys' time with it. I just wanted to see what we had. Okay, so we've done this. Now, with that said, let us go ahead and warp again. Because we're going to knock out what we can here. Though I might get my butt kicked, we're going to give it a shot. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to look for the goodie in question that that guy wanted us to fulfill. Oops. And it was those pirates. Now those pirates are going to be really hard to beat. So, because I, I believe, I believe, now it could have been my first playthrough, and I wasn't really paying that much attention to what my levels were my first time playing this. But uh, over here, and you can see them right there. We're not going to be stealing from these guys as much as we're just going to be coming to kick their ass. And we got to be very careful about it. So we don't want to kind of leave anything behind here. So it's Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Um, I don't think we need to buff as much as we just need to get rid of the Merry Men. There's three of them. Uh, attack. Man. Yes, yes, attack our hero, because he can take it. And this is what I was worried about, these desperate attacks. Let's put an oomph on Eric, that way when he goes to hit Robin Hood here, he'll hit him real nice, nice and hard. The Percy Cutter. Heal. 
herself. I think I'm Robin Hood at this point. With our single target characters. That's bad. Alright. That's that's not a problem. <coughs> Only our healer got denied. I can do with that. Robin Hood's gone. And really now it's just putting the beat down on these guys. Tough guy tattoo. And we find a peck of proper pepper. Alright, so we've done that. Now we can go ahead and zoom back to Costa Valor's campsite. And while we're here. We need to go and hunt down some of those coral giant dudes and take it to them. Again, we're not going to try to steal from them. I've stolen enough from the big guys. We just want the quest item. More so than anything else. And you're not going to get it, I think, from stealing from them. You actually have to beat them. Which, again, not a big deal to me anyway. so we can't confuse anybody. I'm having any luck with the sleeping spells. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't get a break. It's not really a human race. I guess technically you could argue it is because it's in the... But it looks like a human. It's got arms and legs and all that hubba bubba. Wonderful. And there's our floral coral. And now let's head back to Puerto Velo. So we're back in control, and there's a few more things that we need to do. We got to turn those two quests in. Relatively simple. I believe this is the guy back here, Valentina. Yes. So let's give him the letter, Akia's letter. Probably should have done this earlier, but oh well. I have good news. I have the money. I can finally pay you to treat my father's leg. We must hurry, doctor. Please send the gondolier right away. Okay, so the dude's a doctor. And because I don't want to forget to do it, let's just take it now. Mm -hmm. 
run forth. In. Look at this. Three quests back to back pretty much knocked out. And out of order. Alright, we'll turn this in. And we get a mini medal for our trouble. Again, we need like, what was it, six before we can collect the next prize, so. Not gonna worry about it all that much. The other thing I didn't check, too, was the new accessory we got. Well, we got the tough guy tattoo on the shield bearer. Raises defense by a bit, quite a bit actually. So we could give this to somebody who needs it, and probably that person's gonna be one of our healers here. Um, she doesn't need charm. Uh, block chance, parry chance, all are given a bonus here. So I would give her the shield bearer. Get her a really crappy defense up. It is pretty bad compared to everyone else. It's like 10 lower than the next character or so. Alright, let's go back now to Puerto Velor. Puerto Velor! <laughs> Puerto. It's Puerto. It's Perito Valor, son. Don't you speak the language? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm a terrible human being and I love it. All right, let's turn in these other two side quests because, well, they're done. There's no point in us hanging on, on hanging on them for much longer, and it's gonna give us access to some cool stuff. All right, and we get the uh, recipe book for make a whip roaring success for yourself, and we learn how to make beastly bull whips. No complaint, no complaints from me. Now, we may be getting to a juncture of the game where it's nice that we got this book, but we may not be able to, you know, do much. Hand that over. And sweet stuff for swindlers. Ooh. <laughs> he dropped it. What a jackass. What a jackass! What an idiot! Okay, so, we've done that. Now, we're not out of the woods yet, because there's still more kind of for us to do. And me, I'm the guy that sits there and says, why not? Let's get it done. And so, with that said, let us zoom to the nearest campsite for the moment. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, okay, you know what? I screwed up. There is something else we could do. We'll do this first, though, since we're already here. And that is look at what we can make to see if we can even make it. So let's forge some items. No swords. We're going to check everything again, just out of habit. We got a new whip. The Beastly Bull Whip. Magic Beast Horn. So that is a thing we have not seen yet. We've actually gotten the rare dragon bone drop. We haven't seen magic beast horn yet. So that's an item we want to keep our eyes out for. Or rather, our eyes peeled for. Um, Swindler scarf. Ah, yes. We do want to make this. 
um, for Eric here. Um, so let's give it a shot. I believe there's a cloth, there's a clothing that matches as well. Again, we'll worry about that when we get there. Damn! Hopefully we have enough of the rest of this here. We're going to be cutting this close. We may not have been in the best interest to make this yet. <sighs> nice. Okay, woo! We can make it. Just barely. Which means we can make the other piece most likely as well. And we get a plus two swindler scarf. Helmet. Swindler stole. I want to check hats. Anything else? Nope. So swindler stole. We have bear. We have enough to make it. We could buy fairy fluff, I think. Um, but the other two, the maiden's favorite, I think we could buy. The blue eye, we can't. So we can't. We don't really want to screw this up. But we're gonna make it, so let's try it. Armor is gonna be trickier, though. But surprisingly, it's not as tricky as I thought it would be. Ooh, went a little over. Oh, fuck sticks. See, th this is a weird one because, yeah, this is bad. We can rework this though without, I think, so we'll rework it instead of burn more materials. Considering the materials are semi-rare, specifically the blue eye, we can't just get those when we want. Uh... Nine pearls. That's okay, though. It was my fault for screwing up. But then it makes... It begs the question, what's the best way to do this? Um... Holy crap. See, that's what I was worried about. This didn't go over well either. Now somehow this is getting screwed up, but let's see. I'll try it one more time, because we should be able to do this. I'm burning through stuff faster than I need to, though. Plus one, so it's better than what it was before, but I, I'm pretty sure we can do better. This is our last shot. If we can't get it better than plus one, we'll wait till our, our smithing forging level is higher to improve it, if, if we even need to at that point. But clearly, something's not working out here. And I think that was the big one, is those specialty hits were not kicking in. Oh, yeah. Suck it, game. Ooh, no, 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 no. We're finished. We're finished. See? It can be done. You just need a little luck sometimes. <laughs> Damn right, it's perfection, baby. Giggity okay, that was worth the 18 pearls we burned just now. Okay, um, any other armor? I don't think there's gonna be any that needs to be worked on. So accessories, again, I think we've done most of this. So this is all upgrades here. 
boosting that to 90 with a good invasion. And de look at that, it increased daftness as well. Hence why this is some good armor. And let's go... Uh, where is it? Here we go. Again, increases daftness. And defense only by a little. You know, that seems disappointing, but that daftness bonus. And look at that, he now looks like a, a swindler of sorts, I'm assuming. That is their attempt. But it's a good piece of gear. And then it gives access to the turtle thing to our main hero. Which, I'm not going to change it for that. Uh, I don't think anybody else can equip it either, that turtle bit. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so look at that. So we lost one character's outfit, right? But we gained another one's out to get. We got another one to get an outfit on. So I don't see this as a problem. Okay, so we're not done yet. I know, I know, I know. Let's go back to Porto Valor because I forgot to do one other thing. forget and oh crap baskets um we gotta be there at like midday before we really get access to it this done correctly. It's weird because you don't think you can go in if you go in the morning, but by afternoon and night you can head in here. And I am going to say this, it's very, very enticing to want to actually start gambling and stuff. There's, And again, and don't let me stop you from doing it, but I will be the first person to tell you, you probably don't have enough money to do it at this exact juncture. Even I, with the money that I have, be willing to do it to a degree. But I'm going to wait until later. Can we get the Tombola ticket? And if this is just allows for a mini game for later. Um, technically, we can use it now, too, I believe. And it's like a try your luck as many times as you want. And, um... Um, but the perk is is that you can play a mini slot game and you can play it whenever you want in the game and the rewards are pretty weak look at that three moons we get 50 gold it's just something you can do for fun if you don't want to burn money here at the casino um, but I will be the first to tell you that's the uh, tokens. The casino is a good way to make a lot of money. And as well as uh, get some really cool stuff. So you can get the down the rabbit hole, mercury bandana, which is a really great bandana. The white shield, the Yggdrasil Salif, weapon nobody can use, staff of sentencing. But we start looking over here, you start seeing the Aravista's vest, the elevating vest, spangled dress. They're more for um, various other things, like gold coins earned from battle was increased. I believe this one's XP. 
Yeah, it's a 10% with a maxed out. Um, up all the way up to the Platinum Power Sword and the Platinum Swords in general. So there's some interesting stuff. The White Shield is a good buy for um, Serena because it's probably one of the last good shields she can get for a, for a, for a little while. Mercury Bandana gives you actual uh, agility benefits. And then down the rabbit hole is definitely one you want to buy. 500 uh, tokens, huh? Just out of curiosity, how much is the token? Oh, it's a bank. Okay, never mind. So yeah, if we want to play uh, and get tokens, we can. I might do that a little later. Maybe at the end of the episode, I'll fiddle around with it off camera because I might have to reload a few times. Um, and try to at least get enough to get down the rabbit hole and maybe a mercury bandana or a white shield, preferably. But we are pretty much done here in Porto Velo. We'll zoom back to uh, Gondolia Sea. For good reason. And if we look at our map, you'll see a coast that we can reach right on the right. Now, it is a familiar coast that we definitely want to check out and do some of the cool stuff that is there. And of course, we're not going to get there for free. One of the things I haven't really explored is the ocean enemies that much. I don't need to do that. Until then, kill them like the rest. And I'm not worried about the damage and whatnot. Nice. Very nice. Okay, I kind of don't want to get into any battles right now. Because this will help a quest later that our hero and Serena are pepped. So, I'm going to probably avoid battles if and when possible. And we should be able to avoid both much. But you notice we're back on the Emerald Coast, of all places. And that's right, we have access now to the Emerald Coast. And having access to the Emerald Coast, as you can clearly see right there, will be giving us free reign to kind of grab some old consumables. And again, that's only if you really need to. But these guys respawn. And, I don't know, I'm not going to waste your guys, I kind of will, because I do want to grab all this stuff while we're in the area. But, the more important thing is, remember our zoom list, right? We're going to be adding all the locations we couldn't add before. We're also going to be knocking out, obviously, the, the uh, quest here of shooting these panels um, as uh, in order to complete them as the game dictates. We are not going to be really threatened by almost any of the enemies in the area here. They're all relatively low tier. Uh, noise. Uh, let's head. I think the goodies are on this side. And this stuff's actually pretty good, because they don't expect, necessarily, expect you to come all the way back here this early. So, the fact that we're getting some silver and gold ore is pretty good for, you know, that, for coming back this way. So, yeah. Let's keep moving here.
head over this way. Okay, so we'll keep moving. And I believe... Got that. So that covers the new goodies in the area here. Which is good. Got that done. So now we gotta go all the way back the way we came. Because we've got some crossbow kid stuff to do. And like I said earlier, we want access to the zoom list for everything. So, and it's not for like a quest or anything, it's just when you need to come back here, you need to come back here. And this is just knocking all of that out to a degree. I mean, fighting these enemies is completely pointless and trivial, so no means, to, no, no mean, by no means are we going to waste our time with that. Sparkly sun. There should be. I'll say it's up here. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I know there's one up in this area somewhere. There it is. Got it. And again, we're gonna come up to this campsite here. And as per, as per usual, what we're going to do is we're going to rest at it. We don't need to make anything. We're just going to rest. And we're pretty much going to take a horse out as well. Just going to move along here faster and not have to worry about running around enemies. Go all the way over to this kind of where the path splits is where we need to go, as we should see. Another... Close for a second. There it is. Get one of those. And then one more of these, I believe, which is up on the northern path. It's either the northern path or the southern path, but I'm pretty sure it's the northern path. We'll find the last of the uh, crossbow kid uh, thingies here. Drop the horse. Yeah. So that's all of them in this area. Now we're now let's go turn this in. He doesn't like free shit, as I stated many times before. But we're not done yet. Definitely not done yet. So, Emerald Coast is now, for lack of a better term, done. But we're not really done yet, and I'm going to try to get all of this done this episode. I want to get it all done anyway, but now that we have access to the Emerald Coast, we have access to the Heliodor region in its entirety. So, because we have access to the Heliodor region, it is in our best interest to, in a sense, explore that region. Uh, to its fullest, so we can warp anywhere we want in this region just when we need to backpedal for goodies or resources or really anything. Not gonna lie, there's all kinds of reasons to backtrack. Alright, so we're back in Heliodor. Uh, and we're gonna make our way directly to the campsite. 
that we know is here. Man, it's been so long, hasn't it? Now, don't worry about the bow, uh, the bow stuff. There's no crossbow kid stuff. So don't worry about that at this moment. Uh, but there is going to be one more instance of that coming up. check my map here yeah so okay so let's go ahead and continue north whoops technically we can go to Heliodor We'll get there, guys. So strangely enough, we can actually come in here. And then I want to see him here. Okay, yeah. So we can come back to Heliodor, which, again, if you are blind playing this, you would not know to do this. To a degree, unless you were to explore that and then realize, hey, I landed on the coast. I wonder if I can go back to Heliodor. Then you run back to Heliodor and go, oh man, I can do this. But, you know, it, it, the game tries to, I think, intimidate you a bit with the people here to prevent you from wanting to come back. So now we're going to get Heliodor here. And we're also going to get downtown Heliodor. So if we go to our Zoom list, Heliodor City, downtown, the campsite all the good stuff we're gonna add another one and then we're also gonna get the mangle grove as well and in the mangle grove there's some more crossbow kid stuff that we can do but yeah I want to go to the footpath because there's a warp in there's a warp area here. And we want to be able to get access to this warp location as well. And then there's a couple others as well that we're also going to take advantage of. Uh, which is cobblestone. You can get a warp zone, a warp point at cobblestone. But in order to do this one coming up, we actually have to rest the night here at this location. So again, it's a bit of a process, but nothing major. And a reminder to all, if you had forgotten to do any of the local side quests, this is your chance to do them. Take a look and make sure it's there. Footnotes. Yes. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to Heliodor Region Campsite. And when we get to the campsite, we're not quite done yet. Grab one of our wild stallions. And we're going to make our way to Cobblestone. We're going to get Cobblestone done, and then the Mangle Grove after that. I know this is pretty dull, guys. Just bear with me. Get across, there we go. 
Okay, off we go. And now we get, I believe, cobblestone. Nice. So we can leave. <laughs> Sad music. And then we'll grab our wild steed again, just because again it allows us to avoid bot battles. And we're gonna head to the mango grove and do our last bit of work there. And thus we are in the Mango Grove. And we're on the far end of it here. And this one I know that the things are a little harder to find. Here's the first one. And again, we don't really want to fight any enemies. And there, most of them will run away from us. I think that some of the demon enemies, devil enemies won't. But I believe everything else will. Yeah, we're not really looking to pick a fight with anybody, so that that one's the big one to me. And boom goes the dynamite. Let's keep moving. We now need to head back to the campsite, and you can see there's the Bodkin bow, Bowman there, to whom we are going to turn all this into. Let's hit up this, because we can just zoom literally to this campsite when we're done, right? So, rest. Let's move. This episode might go a little long because there's something in the in the area, the region we want to meet that I want to do off camera because it's one of those pep up hour things. Is I know the quest is coming and I want to get it done now. I believe that we can reach this. I just thought we could reach this. Maybe not. I think we have to stand a weird place to reach it. I could be wrong and we just can't reach it right now. Which means we can't complete this, but with that we'll have to wait till later. Which I'm okay with. I could have sworn I'm further and further away. when we could reach that. I guess not. So we'll have to come back to that later. Um, it is what it is. And I'm not that worried about it. Because we'll knock the other ones out. That way when we come back here, we only have that one to get. Could have sworn we could reach it, but... Hmm. Maybe not. Get that one hiding up there. The warp point is what matters, though, more so than anything. And that, since we are here... And then the one that I know that we still can reach is over here. Okay, so with that done, I still wish I could, you know, I'm going to try it for it one more time. If I can't get it, we're going to move on. 
because I would have sworn we could reach it. Part of me is like, I know you can reach that. Some way, somehow I'm doing something wrong. So I'll play Devil's Advocate and give myself one more shot at this. Literally. Can't blame me for trying. No. Nothing I'm doing is working. If I could just see that little arrow just pop up once, I'd be happy. But we're not going to be able to reach it. Until uh, things transpire later, I'm, I'm going to assume. So, we will obviously be coming back for that uh, later, um, but we have access to the Mango Grove at our leisure. Let us now go back to Gondolia Sea, because we're not, we're not done yet. And like I said, this episode will be a hair long. I just want to get us to a side quest that mostly is going to be taking place off camera. Uh, and it's because if I screw it up, it's going to be definitely off camera. It's, um... The, there's a side quest coming up in the area we're heading to where we have to do something not just at night ah oh, crap I realize I'm in a battle I mean uh, yeah so let's do Scorcher I don't need Eric ah oh, but it uses him darn it I hope that doesn't use his pet okay it doesn't we need Serena and we need Jack Tard's pep to be good here. No, she's losing her pep, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, but I do want to get to where that quest is because, like I said, there's a few things I want to do. Some of the gambling on the offside, you know, area. It's just blackjack, I believe, and slot, you know, slots. Nothing major. Ooh, she still has some pep in her. Means we gotta end this battle or run. Hopefully we won't get into too many more battles here. This is what I was ultimately afraid of. Actually, what we can do, because I have them and I keep forgetting that I have them. Somebody's carrying a holy water. to get to that beach up in the north. And on the high seas, it's random encounter city, so I can't control what happens. <laughs> and that, to me, is, is a big one. So what we got to do is we need to make it pretty much uh, to this kind of safe haven area. Um, to activate a quest that we definitely need, amongst other things. So I'm gonna grab just a few items on the way up there, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna do any of the uh, crossbow kid stuff. We'll save that for the next episode. Um, come on, there. Let's move. You know what? Just to make sure I've checked everything. thought there was something else in there, and there was. And we're going to get a... This. Talk to the weather cow. Now, if we head across the field here, 
find something we can pick up. Again, I'm trying to avoid fights, so this may is not necessarily in my best interest, as those are going to be enemies there. And now we need to head to that windmill. So here's where we need to be. This is known as the Warrior's Rest Inn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, jeez, we made it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and so what was the point of worrying about coming all the way down here in such a big hurry? Uh, I'm not going to shoot that. And then at, there's an enemy at night. Robe of Serenity. Okay, so we need to use the Care Prayer Pep skill against an enemy known as the Dead Knots. Um, again, easier said than done. Let's save in case I screw this up. And I guess I'll show you me doing this, because why not, right? So make a confession. Because if for some reason it gets screwed up or I attack the wrong enemy, just know that I'm going to do it off screen. All we got to do is use the pep skill against a specific enemy type, which is known as the Dreadnought. Uh, rest a while. Oops, I screwed that up, didn't I? Is it day? Did I did I rest till daytime? Uh, might have. As the enemies will not be as generous in uh, allowing me to exploit this while we can do it. Okay. So if we look at our map, we'll see a thing that says ruins. And that's where we need to go. I love how this place looks like Rome. Like, like, it looks like, like during the Bronze Age Rome kind of fields. Now, we're looking for Dreadnoughts here, and I forget what they specifically are, but there are Devils. I want to say they're the Skeleton Dudes, but I could be so wrong. That's kind of all that I see here. So let's hope for the best, guys. Don't care about the Griffin Dude. Yeah, there's the Dreadnought, uh, uh, or Deadnought, rather. So let's go and have him gang up there. Pet power, care prayer. So we'll do this. He's down. I'm not gonna try stealing. Let's just get this battle over with. There we go. Let's go back to peaceful rest or uh, peaceful rest valley. Wrong game. Let's go back to. Um, in and turn that quest in because god damn it do I hate quests like that I really do I don't mean that in a bad way either it's just the pep ones are weird and the fact that we were lucked out and had it happen to us that way force is forcing me to do things kind of rushed and we get a robe of serenity for our trouble yay which is an upgrade for either Jessica or Serena um, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. For Serena, it's 103, but you know what? She's falling so far behind in defense. She's going to probably be our first candidate. It also builds up her magical might as well. So I'm more, I'm more reluctant to give it to Serena at the time. 
So anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jacktarcds for more live gaming action. And when we come back, we will be properly, uh, we will be properly exploring the Zward, Zward's Rest region, as well as I'm going to hit up the casino with a little bit of money that I have and see if we can get a few things going for us uh, as far as gear and specialty items is concerned. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.